Kelowa Elementary and Primary Schools are situated outside Mount Hagen City. They are lucky to receive new toilet facilities after 40 years that is inclusive to use by persons with disability. It has incinerators and water tanks for hand washing and toilet upkeeping. This was a dream come true for these schools who went without proper clean toilets for a long time. Facility, if you put him in, and we are gathering system and block backside this one. It's like UNICEF's wash specialist, Susan Kamini, says EU and UNICEF will continue to support the national government's wash policy to improve water sanitation and hygiene to 70% of the population and 100% of education institutions and medical centers. Meanwhile, nine new communities in the surrounding Kelowa area also took part in the Clean Black Community Project. They were also presented with certificates declaring their communities open defecation free. Sir, we want to reiterate our full commitment to work with the European Union and other development partners, the national government, to support access of children and Access for children to an and sustainable water and sanitation service. Care International is the implementing partner of the WASH project. WASH program manager Patrick Goimba handed the keys to the school and hatched them to practice health and hygiene through their hygiene club. Care International has been training locals and the schools involved the best health practices. The city authority has been tasked to monitor the implementation of the WASH program. City authority CEO Leo Noki urged the locals to look after the projects. Give me a must work for one time. The European Union, the World Bank or IMF, OSAID or New Zealand Aid or USAID, all can come. That's all people here. You must not talk to me here. Vasanathayama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.